Welcome to Decades of History. Today we are looking back at 10 incredible concept cars from the 1990s. This should be interesting. This was an era of big hair, bold colors, and concept cars that pushed the limits. From mind-blowing supercars to one drawing inspiration from the 1930s, these cars will not disappoint. So let's get started. Number 10, 1997 Volkswagen W12 Synchro and 1998 W12 Roadster. The 1997 Volkswagen W12 Synchro and Roadster, conceived by the famed Itel Design Studio, were pioneering concept cars that demonstrated Volkswagen's mastery in engineering and design, intended not for mass production, but as showcases of technological potential. The Synchro boasted a novel W12 engine, a fusion of two V6 engines paired with an all-wheel drive for superior performance, while the Roadster featured the same impressive engine but with a convertible design that highlighted Volkswagen's blend of performance and aesthetics. These vehicles symbolized Volkswagen's effort to expand its presence in the high-performance car market, serving as beacon models to enhance the brand's prestige. Created in extremely limited numbers, with just one prototype of each model, these concept cars are presumed to remain with Volkswagen, making rare public appearances at automotive events to celebrate the innovation and vision behind their development. Their existence continues to inspire and remind the automotive world of Volkswagen's ambitious stride towards blending performance with groundbreaking design. I'm perfectly happy driving my Volkswagen. Number 9. 1991 BMW Nazca C2 The BMW Nazca C2, born from a collaboration between BMW and Itel design home of Giorgetto Giugiaro, advanced the BMW Nazca M12's design and performance, debuting at the 1991 Tokyo Motor Show. It housed a powerful 5-liter V12 engine, originally from the BMW 850i, which Alpina later enhanced. But its complexity and the high costs of production, along with a limited market appeal, barred it from mass manufacturing. Merely three units exist. The prototype, an open-top C2 Spider, and a variant made for the Sultan of Brunei with an Alpina B12 5.7 engine, underscoring the project's exclusivity. BMW pulling in. Oh, that's my husband. Number 8. Lamborghini Cala Unveiled at the 1995 Geneva Motor Show, the Lamborghini Cala was a concept car crafted by Itel Design Giugiaro, marking a shift from Lamborghini's iconic sharp angles to smoother lines, aimed at becoming the new entry-level model below the Diablo. It was intended to replace the Yalpa, broadening Lamborghini's appeal. However, financial troubles and a change in ownership following Audi's acquisition in 1998 halted its production. Only one fully functional prototype was ever built and its current location remains a mystery, likely kept under wraps by Lamborghini. It is hard to find. Despite never hitting the production line, the Kala holds a special place in the hearts of car enthusiasts, symbolizing what could have been a new chapter for Lamborghini and influencing the design of the later Gallardo, the successful baby Lambo. That's my baby. Number 7. 1995 Chrysler Atlantic The Chrysler Atlantic concept car drawing heavy inspiration from the 1930s Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic, was conceptualized through a napkin sketch by Chrysler's then-president Bob Lutz and design chief Tom Gale, following their inspiration from European auto shows. Making its first appearance at the 1995 Detroit Auto Show, the Atlantic showcased a retro style with a long hood and flowing lines, yet its production was hindered by the design's impracticality and the high costs of its intricate, handmade details. Only one prototype was ever constructed, serving as a bold design statement and a tribute to the legendary Bugatti Atlantic, aimed at demonstrating Chrysler's design prowess and boosting the brand's image. This is the most interesting concept, I think. Number 6. 1998 Jaguar XK180 The Jaguar XK180 was crafted to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the legendary XK120, marrying traditional Jaguar aesthetics with contemporary performance and technology all within a remarkably short 10-month development period. Despite its allure, the XK180's elaborate hand-built aluminum body and niche two-seater roadster appeal rendered mass production impractical and economically unviable. Jaguar's Special Vehicle Operations Division produced just two models of this limited-edition car, one with left-hand drive and the other with right-hand drive, showcasing their exceptional design and engineering capabilities. This project not only honored the historic XK120, but also elevated Jaguar's brand by highlighting their capacity for innovation and craftsmanship. Today, the exclusive XK180 prototypes reside with the Jaguar Daimler Heritage Trust, symbolizing Jaguar's enduring legacy 
and occasionally being showcased at special events. Jaguar. It's a nice car. I don't even think about it. Number 5. 1996 Ford Indigo The Ford Indigo, inspired by the high-octane world of IndyCar and Formula One racing, brought the thrill of the track to the road when it debuted on the 1996 auto show circuit, courtesy of Ford's design and technical director, Claude Lobo. However, its ambition was curtailed by the high costs of its racing-derived technology, such as a single-piece carbon fiber monocoque and a custom V12 engine, alongside its limited practicality for everyday use due to its design and minimal amenities. This concept car, tailored for a niche market of enthusiasts craving a race car experience, resulted in only two versions being produced, a fully operational prototype and a static display model. The Indigo functioned as a showcase for Ford's advancements in materials and engineering, acting as both a technological demonstrator and a symbol of Ford's innovative spirit and engineering capabilities. Today, the operational prototype remains with Ford, embodying their commitment to innovation, while the display model was auctioned off now a prized possession in a private collection. I wonder how much that would be worth. Number 4. 1990 Chevrolet Corvette Serve 3 The Chevrolet Engineering Research Vehicle 3 was the culmination of Chevrolet's exploration into mid-engine Corvette concepts, drawing heavily from the style and innovations of the 1986 Corvette Indy concept. Introduced with fanfare at the 1990 Detroit Auto Show, the Serve 3 was a marvel of technology, boasting features like all-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, active suspension, and a twin turbocharged engine, factors that contributed to its impracticality and astronomical production costs. This singular prototype embodied Chevrolet's internal debates about adopting a mid-engine layout for the Corvette, a vision that hinted at the Mark's future directions but remained unrealized in this form due to concerns over practicality and cost. Created as a technological showcase and a dream of what the future of sports cars could hold, the Serve 3 boosted Chevrolet's image as an innovator in performance and engineering. Today, this one-off wonder likely remains with General Motors, preserved as a significant piece of automotive history and a testament to Chevrolet's engineering ambitions. Oh, that's beautiful. What a car. Number 3, 1991 Audi Avis Quattro. At the 1991 Tokyo Motor Show, the Audi Avis Quattro captured imaginations with its polished aluminum body, marking a significant step in Audi's exploration of lightweight construction through its aluminum space frame technology, a precursor to the aluminum framework of their A8 models. Designed by Jay Mays, the concept car also previewed Audi's innovative W12 engine, signaling future engineering directions. Audi produced only one prototype of the Avis Quattro, using it as a platform to showcase their aluminum construction expertise and to introduce the W12 engine to the public, reinforcing the brand's image as a leader in automotive innovation and design. Today, this unique prototype resides in the Audi Museum in Ingolstadt, Germany, as a testament to Audi's technological ambition and design vision. What an unusual car! Number 2. 1993 Ferrari Conciso The Ferrari Conciso, a unique reinterpretation of the 1989 Ferrari 328 GTS chassis, features a minimalist design so stark it earned its name Conciso, Italian for concise, crafted by the German design studio Michelac Design. However, its radical departure from Ferrari's traditional styling, coupled with the high costs and complexities of such a custom rebodying process, meant it was never considered for mass production, appealing only to a niche market with its doorless and weather unprotected design. This singular creation showcased Michelac Design's innovative capabilities, acting as a dynamic business card to draw in more clients, and demonstrated a rare flexibility from Ferrari in allowing their iconic branding on such a distinctive project. Bern Michelac, the visionary behind its conception, led the technical execution, marrying custom aluminum bodywork with the Ferrari chassis. Today, this one-off Ferrari Conciso belongs to Franco Vallobra, being purchased at an RM Sotheby's auction for $122,500. You were right about a motorcycle, the closest feeling on a Ford. Oh, yeah. Number 1, 1995, Ford GT90. Ford's GT90 concept car, unveiled at the 1995 Detroit Auto Show, was a bold vision to recapture the spirit of the legendary GT40 race cars from the 1960s, featuring a groundbreaking quad turbocharged V12 engine that boasted an astonishing 720 horsepower. That's powerful stuff. Its production, however, was hindered by the prohibitive costs 
associated with its exotic materials and complex engine, along with its impracticality for everyday driving and a highly niche market appeal for an ultra-high-performance supercar. This led to the creation of just one fully operational prototype, serving not only as a tribute to Ford's motorsport legacy, but also as a showcase of the brand's engineering capabilities and a testbed for future technologies. The GT90's development was spearheaded by a dedicated team within Ford's special vehicle team, embodying Ford's ambition to push the boundaries of automotive design and performance. Today, this unique masterpiece has found its home with Brent Hayek for an undisclosed amount, who now showcases it proudly at his Hayek Motorsports Museum in Ames, Oklahoma. A one-of-a-kind prototype.